So, hello, um, good afternoon, after lunch. I'm the first one here. My name is Alexander Nadella, um, as announced, and I'm with Mellanox responsible for the Ethernet products we have. Um, I'm covering Central Europe, and Poland is, of course, part of Central Europe. <laughs> so welcome here to, to the session. I give you an overview about um, our Ethernet products. Um, we're pretty new in the Ethernet space for the last four or five years. That comes from an acquisition Melanox made, um, a company that's called um, Voltaire. Some of you guys may know Voltaire, and Voltaire was integrated into Melanox, and now we have um, these, these um, Ethernet business line within Melanox. So let's begin. Okay, this is a moving slide. So Mellanox gives you um, in the data center, and we're, we're active in the data center. We don't do any wide area networks. We just do a data center. We do it um, world class, of course. We have um, a comprehensive real end-to-end -end, um, portfolio for interconnects, for transporting data from A to B, in this case. You can have, from Mellanox, you can have the networking cards. You can have the optics and the cables. You can have the switches. And here again, the cables and um, the networking cards on top. We have our own operating system, which is called Mellanox OS, Mellanox Operation System. And then we have as well um, an automation and monitoring tool that's called NEO. It's pretty new. It, we have it in place for about um, one year, less than one year, and it's for free. So um, feel free to download NEO if you have some Mellanox Ethernet equipment and just play around. You can automate, you can do lots of um, nice things with it. And it has open APIs, so you can um, dock on to other management systems you have maybe already in place for automation. Um, I will cover in this presentation um, the switching the Ethernet line and some of um, the NICs and some of the cables, but the most focus will be on the switches. Um, now a little bit of sales, um, since we're not really well known. Um, Mellanox gives you the best performing switches, best performance in the Ethernet market. Our switches are the fastest or among the fastest, the highest density, they're very robust, and a really good latency. On layer two, we have a latency of about 220 nanoseconds. On layer three, um, slightly above 300. We have a very good price point. That comes because we are a manufacturer. We still manufacture our own um, products. We don't buy from other companies. We have our own ASICs. Um, that is something we're very proud of. We are a semiconductor company that has own ASIC production line and research and development. So we have a very good price point in, um, for our products um, hitting the end user market. It's effortless. We have automation tools, like I just said, um, um, in this case, Neo. And we have, and this is um, very rare today, we have our own technical assistance center. Most companies, um, our competitors, they like to outsource support. We have our own support. It's own Mellanox people, and they are very highly skilled. So customers have, even after they bought our products, they have a very good experience once they need to have um, a service case or some upgrades and these things that are very essential to keep um, customer satisfaction. Uh, any questions at this point? Is there any Mellanox user already here in this room? Somebody ever got in touch with Mellanox? I see no hands, no, so okay, that's good. So let's do some bandwidth essentials. Mellanox is a company that always does high performance. So we're always looking at um, the greatest speeds at the best um, products. And for us, it's always the game to have the highest performing products on the market. Our product strategy is um, 25, 50, and 100G. And I'm turning now a little bit into what bandwidth essentials are in the market because there are always questions Oh, this is an SFP, SFP+, plus, QSFP, QSFP28, so can I migrate back and forth? Can I use your stuff for 1G maybe, even because most customers have today 1 and 10G? And I go into a little bit details. What I um, just mentioned, okay, we have our own ASICs, um, we have um, wire speed, we have cut-through um, speed switching at any packet size. We don't drop packets in the Ethernet um, space, so that's, that's unique as well. There's no packet drops. We don't work on buffers. We work on wire speed. 
And when you do Mellanox designs, you do it always with one-to-one. -one. There's no oversubscription. So that's perfect for the data center. We have um, the duct um, cables, of course, um, active fiber we have. And so, as I said before, you have pretty much everything for to run your Ethernet data center. Let's go into um, some speed or some, some, some standards. You have here um, for 100G, you have the QSFP28 as seen here um, above. You can split the QSFP28 into 2 times 50, and you can split the 40G into what we all know, the QSFP, which is 4 times 10, compared to the 100G, which is 4 times 25. So you have here uh, more bandwidth with the new standards, or it will become a standard more or less of the 50G. Then you have the 25G, which relates to the 100G. So you can split always a 100G port on, for example, a Spectrum 2700 into 4 times 20G. Or you can do as well um, the 40G, the QSFP, you can split it as well into 4 times 10. Q means quad, which means 4. We all know that, I believe. So there is, when you buy Mellanox, there's always compatibility upwards and downwards on the speeds. You can use, um, for example, a 100G um, switch as well in order to split it maybe into 25, but you can use it as well for 10G. It's all interoperable. So when you, when you have a Mellanox, a Mellanox um, Ethernet switch today, you don't need to run in the first place 100G. You have a sort of investment protection where you can later on migrate to um, higher bandwidth if needed in your data center. Um, what Mellanox is unique about as well in the Ethernet space, we have um, open networking switch, open Ethernet. So you're more or less, you're free to choose your own operation system. You can buy it as a, as a naked switch without any OS. You can buy it with a Mellanox OS, and you can buy it with third-party OS as well, like um, Cumulus. Do, do you guys know Cumulus, ever heard? Okay, I see some, <laughs> some positive signs here. Our Cumulus Alliance is um, pretty new. We have it in place since March of this year. All of our Spectrum switches, I will show them later on, are certified on Cumulus and they're cloud ready. And we're very, very successful with a combination of Mellanox hardware and Cumulus operation system. That's the best of both worlds. That's very, very good for the market. Uh, customers are very positive, especially in the cloud data center space. Okay, here again, because um, many customers and potential customers are asking, can I use this? You have a high-performing switch, but I'm, right now I'm living in a different world. I'm living in the SFP plus QSFP world. Yes, you can. That, that is a standard. So you can go to QSFP 28, you can migrate as well backwards, so you, you're free to do whatever you want to do on your optics. There is, there's a real um, investment protection. And many people in the networking space think, oh, if I buy the switch now, I can't use it now, I can use it only maybe in two or three years. That's not the case. We have the optics as well, so, so you're free to do um, whatever you want to do on, on the bandwidth, on the 25, 50, or 100, as well on 1040. And our switches run on 1040 or 2550 and 100 gig. Okay, where, where is the speed going? Where's the bandwidth going? What is Mellanox pitching? We say in the compute space, we go from 10 to 25. In the storage, we say more or less fiber channel is at the end of the road. Fiber channel has bandwidth problems and it's very um, expensive. We say from fiber channel, um, it's the 50G, and we say for Ethernet fabrics, to have um, a whole fabric, whole management, whole topology, um, 100, whoops, 100G um, is, is the new standard. Instead of 1040, 1040 comes from more from campus designs, but we think for the data center, the best is 25, 50, and 100, which we certainly um, support. You, you have here all the, 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 the pros here, of course. Um, you have better load distribution in the fabric, of course, because you have the spine, which goes on 100G. In the storage, you have more bandwidth for less money. 
and no packet drops when it comes to uh, Mellanox. And of course, here you have um, higher bandwidth utilizing in the computes um, in the leaf. So you, have, um, you can utilize your servers much better on a higher speed. How am I with time, Martin? Okay, good. So how, how, does, how does a modern data center design look like? I think you, you all know for the last 10, 15 years, the story was always buy, buy a modular switch and then put, put on your access switches and then yeah, connect them to your servers to these access switches and here you go. Um, times are changing in data centers. The biggest um, challenge right now is um, your data center looks different every day. Um, customers come, customers go, you have new projects and, and the business is asking for new applications, more bandwidth, um, change of topology. So what I've seen in the last three, four years now with real data centers, the network operations um, is having a hard time with modular um, switches, with um, the chassis, because they cost a lot of money, they need to stay in place for five, six, seven years, it's a big capital expenditure, and um, they cost a lot um, when you need to extend, when you need to create new line cards. You need to buy line cards, which, are, which is a lot of money. And what I, I see right now um, within the data centers, especially with the cloud operate, uh, operators, is that they go into more uh, a spine leaf topology, which is not any more chassis driven, but it's more driven by ports, by bandwidth, and by flexibility. For the data center, the most, for an operator, the most important thing is to be flexible and to be open and to adapt to changes which come by the business. So we, we don't have any chassis in the Ethernet um, product line. We have it in InfiniBand, but for Ethernet we don't because we say customers need to be flexible. And this is really reality. If you look into modern data centers today, they're usually not um, chassis driven. So this is what we, what we say is the future, the spine leaf, and really to have the ability to grow east to west within the data center. This is the old world where you have north-south traffic bound. Nowadays, it's east-west because about 80% of all communication in the data center is with, between servers. They communicate, not the user with um, the server. It's usually 80% east-west. And this is what we say at Mellanox is, is, is a modern design, is a flexible design. Questions at this stage, no? Okay. So what, what do we offer in this new era with our spectrum switches? The, the spectrum switch has a brand new ASIC. It's um, our first own Ethernet generation based ASIC. So this ASIC chip is made for Ethernet. And it gives you, of course, great variety, great flexibility in terms of speed. We can go from 10, 25, 40, 50, 56, which is Mellanox proprietary, up to 100G. We will have next year, we will have even 200G in our portfolio. So you even have more flexibility. You have highest um, throughput, you have 6.4 terabit, um, 3.2 in, 3.2 out within um, the spectrum switch, which is unmatched in the industry. And of course, beside the switches, we offer the NIC cards. Um, the actual generation is um, Connect X4, which does up to 100 gig. In November, we will launch Connect X5, which will do two times 100 gig, which is of course 200 gig. So there is a new generation waiting, and we have um, the cables, the optics, transceivers, um, be it copper, for the data center. So you can do from A to Z everything with us as a manufacturer, which gives you a great guarantee of quality. And of course, not uh, always to mention that on your free to choose your operating system, be it um, in this case, um, Cumulus or Mellanox OS, and you have all the tools to administer your, your data center. Okay. Um, if you're interested, I can give you a copy of this presentation later on, and I don't want to waste your time right now, but there is a nice YouTube movie, you know, on, on bandwidth, um, how, how fast our switches are compared to um, the ASICs from Broadcom or Intel. So if you want to, 
you can you can go on YouTube later on and and watch it. It's amazing. Shortly, yeah, we sell products. We're a manufacturer of products, so of course we sell switches. This is our um, Asics family. Um, Asics is, is an ASIC which is in place for about three years. Um, of course, um, you, you can read this yourself, of course, so um, it's always the ports, um, the 40 gig uplinks here. My um, favorite one of this product here is the Asics 1012 which is a perfect um, storage switch, for example. If it has 12 times 40 gig, you can split the 40 gig in four times 10. So it's perfect for the storage space. You can have it on high availability because it's half, half the size of a switch. So you can put two switches in one rack and you have a super, super high redundancy. And the storage people really like the switch um, and we're, we're certified as well with lots of um, storage vendors like what you see here, Nutanix, but others as well. Um, here's some, some comparison um, with um, some, some other ASIC companies, like in this case Broadcom, which is um, the Trident family, um, which is their, their, their a little bit more mature ASIC. But I, what I want to touch now is, which is really exciting, um, is our Spectrum product line. We um, launched Spectrum la end of last year, so it's more or less one year in place now, the Spectrum product line. And for the industry, for the data center, this is um, price performance-wise, I think, okay, I work for Malanox, but I think it's uh, the best value in the market you can get today. Simply said. We don't have the big brand name like, like other companies, but um, when it comes really to value for the money you spend, this is something you should take into consideration. We have um, the first switch which we launched in Spectrum was the 2700, which is on top here. This one, it was the fastest one at the time it was launched. And it has, um, as you can see, 32 times 100 G. You can split it up to 64 times 50 G. If you want to, you can split it as well into four times 25. And that's um, the perfect aggregation switch, uh, Spine. We, later on, we launched a 2410. You can read it here. It has 8 times 100 G, 40 48 times 25 G. So it's, it's a very good um, leaf switch. And what we just launched um, two weeks ago is the 2100. It's half a switch from the size and has 16 times 100 um, G. So you have a brilliant form factor. 100 G, you can split it. It's as, you know, world class. <laughs> And, and our ASIC is, um, this ASIC is made for Ethernet, so it's predictable. It does load balancing as well. All ports are being treated the same because we have no overbuffering. We have always predictable performance on each port. So we can treat each port equally. Each server is being treated equally, which is, I think, very important for the data center business. Not that you have one server getting all the bandwidth and the rest uh, you know, needs to share 10% of the ASIC. That's not the case with us, it's predictable. And there is, um, if you're interested as well, there's a Tolly report, it's free on the internet, where Tolly um, um, compares our switch with other vendor switches, and especially um, the predictable uh, ports, you know, that the ports are being treated equal is, is one of, of, of the most important things and the switch does not um, drop packets as well. So, so it's very, very good for, for the data center space. Here we are again in the 2100. Um, what didn't I mention? Yeah, it has a single 19 um, rack unit. The configurations you can see yourself here. So you can do um, with two switches, not with one switch, but with two switches and one rack unit, you can have these um, uh, configurations and ports. What is important at Mellanox, um, and this is one thing, uh, if you ever buy a Mellanox switch, um, our ASIC does a maximum of 64 ports. 64 is the maximum number a switch can do, be it on 100 gig or 25 or 50 gig, whatever, but 64 is the max number of the ASIC can handle. We will have a new ASIC next year, which can do much more ports, but for this generation and the X2 generation I just um, showed to you, 64 is the magic number. So you can't split infinitely until, I don't know, you're at 256 ports or whatever. 
That's not possible. Okay. Mellanox OS. Lots of customers ask, yeah, you have an own operation system. It's new for me. You know, do I know? Yes, it's pretty much, um, it relies on the Berkeley commands. And the Berkeley commands equals into um, iOS. So our um, OS is, from the command-wise, it's very near to um, what um, the iOS from Cisco does, which is more or less the standard. So if you uh, ever, you know, first time Mellanox OS user, you, you have the same touch and feeling um, as you do um, with um, Cisco, if you, if you have Cisco in this case. So there's no, no big adoption needed. Um, Neo, I just touched Neo before. Neo is um, what, what is a centralized fabric management, so you can automate um, with Neo, you can do a, your auto discovery, zero touch provisioning, you can, all, you can do all this modern and neat stuff you, you want to do within a data center. And as I said before, it's a new product, and because it's a new product, it's for free as well for you to, to play around, to use it, to give us feedback as well. It may cost something in the future, but as of today, it's for free. Here, um, essentially what I uh, said as well before, Mellanox OS, our operation system, is very good for certain um, types of cases, for example, for the storage, for, let's say, basic, simple operations within a data center. If you want to go more into um, the cloud data center where you need uh, maybe more features, then our first choice in this case is Cumulus, where you should take a, a good look onto Cumulus if you're more feature-driven, more cloud-driven. Then Cumulus should come into consideration. We have this partnership with Cumulus that means um, that when we do quotes and you want Cumulus, we can do the quote with Cumulus on board. And what is important as well is the service and support when you buy Mellanox with Cumulus on top as an operation system comes from Mellanox. So you have always one one-stop shopping for support cases. The Mellanox tuck engineers are trained and certified on um, Cumulus on a level one and level two. So you will not get confused and will not be pushed from one vendor to the other vendor when you have a support case open. Okay. Short, just at a glance, what some people don't know, we have a long, long time um, history and um, Mellanox is in place since 1999, a long time for the IT industry. And we began, you know, with networking cards and the InfiniBand space and we already had 10G at that time and that was in 2002. Something 10G we, we talk about now in the Ethernet space, which is standard. So Mellanox has a long track record on, on, on NIC cards and now we are on Connect X4 for 100G and we will touch now, um, next month we will touch um, Connect X5. And most OEMs like um, Dell, HP, um, IBM, you name them, um, offer Mellanox um, NIC cards as well. So you usually you have some Mellanox in your data center, even without knowing it. So this was Connect X4. It uh, has all the speeds. It is InfiniBand and Ethernet um, ready, of course. Next month, I think in October, maybe November, will be um, the Connect X5 card, which is the new generation, new speeds. And it, and it runs on um, PCI Gen 3, Gen 4, and 16 lanes. So real revolution. I'm, I'm, one, I'm really eager to look forward to it when, uh, when it hits the market. And here, what this slide um, t tells you is um, each new generation of card supports as well um, the features of the older cards. If you look for Connect X3 Pro in the middle, and then you look at Connect X4, Connect X5, even the programmable adapters, so the technology and the features, they build upon each other. Cables and transceivers, yes, we produce them. Mellanox bought, um, I think three years, three, four years ago, um, two companies um, which produce cables and photonics. We bought them because the quality was not good enough, um, we saw in the market. So Mellanox said, okay, in order to keep the quality, in order to guarantee the quality for the customers, 
especially in the infinity high performance computing space where quality is name of the game, we buy companies in order to insure. And we profit in the Ethernet space as well because you, you get um, the cables, you get transceivers, um, you get everything you know, in the highest um, quality you can get. And it's from us as well. We manufacture them ourselves. We have our own, own factories on that. Here's some, some on, uh, from our portfolio, from um, the direct uh, attached copper, which is, of course, very cost efficient. Active optical cables as well where you can have um, longer distances, but of course they're a little bit more expensive. And of course the transceivers. And in this space, we are big OEM to some um, well-known Ethernet companies, you know, they buy from us as well. But of course end customers can buy from us via um, our channels and distribution, which we have in Poland as well. So we're not, not exotic in this case. New product launch, I'm, I'm, this is the last slide. And these are the new product launched. Um, usually they work on InfiniBand and Ethernet. So you can switch wherever you wanna, whatever you wanna do, you're free to do. Some are Ethernet only, but most of them are both InfiniBand and Ethernet. And if you're interested, you can come to our booth. We have some, some cables exhibited there as well. That was it. I think I'm, I'm on time. Yes. Okay, we must very good. End. Okay, no, I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> some okay. some question? No question? Maybe okay, we, we, we have our booth here right here. If you have later on maybe five minutes you want to discuss with us, you want to ask questions, feel free. Thank you for your time. Great.